just released. That was released on... What was it? May 3rd, 2019. Alright, back to semi-normal. But not for the hair. Let's keep that up, because that's fun. I haven't showered in a few days. Anyway, um, let's talk about this release. The history of this release just goes back to Edie and the fact that Edie has run Middleman Records and has been playing in Coma Regalia and a plethora of other bands uh, for well over two decades. So that's just ridiculous. Um, upon my entry, or entry into the, I guess, screamo scene from actually like getting into it as opposed to just listening from afar, uh, obviously Edie was one of the first people I talked to one of the first people that I was able to get on a co-release with, uh, way back, I guess the first one would have been the Como Regalia Fox Mulder split. So I guess I kind of got in through Fox Mulder as well. Um, but, uh, you know, like, Como Regalia was supposed to play the 2019 ZBR Fest, but uh, one of their members did not have a passport, I believe, so they had to, uh, they had to bail, unfortunately. Uh, only to find out that, uh, 2019, 2017, my apologies, they were supposed to play 2017, um, even though Massonero was able to get across the border at that point with just their licenses, so, you know, who knows. This uh, is the, uh, at least at this point, this is the third newest one. Uh, a new one just came out at the end of 2022. There was another one that came out in 2020, and this is the 2019 album. Um, I'll talk about the sound first. I, I feel like this one, uh, after, and even up to including the new stuff, there's a lot of experimentation with Coma in... I don't know, I'm gonna say like 2016, 17? I really felt it with The Mirror. When I heard The Mirror, I was like, Edie is doing some new stuff, and it's really awesome, but it still fits in the coma mold. So I was very impressed. Uh, I feel like this one um, kind of uh, reins it back in a little bit to like more to just plain screamo. Ah, plain, that's not the right word. I just mean there's less experimentation on this one. That picks up again with the next album, and a lot, I think, with the new album. Um, this is definitely one of my favorites. And it, honestly, every time I do one of these and I re-listen to the Coma album, I'm like, man, I remember. <laughs> I like this even more than I remember liking it. So um, one of the reasons why I really like doing these. There were essentially 300 copies pressed over two variants, uh, but there's, like, one catch. But for a third thing, but let's see. So they all have the same cover. They're silk screened, so everything is uh, it's tactile to the touch. It's super nice. Um, just absolutely beautiful, especially the back. Oh man, it looks absolutely fantastic. Uh, Edie did the art for this. Uh, they all came with a little lyric booklet, which is super cool. I love when they're uh, an actual booklet as opposed to just folded up pieces of paper. Uh, and then you had these. Now this is where the differences start. There was 100 copies on black. Oh man, this is 500, not even close. Sorry, there's 300 on black and there's 200 on this really nice forest green, which I think we still actually have some of, but what we don't have is the, the out of the 200 green, 100 of them came with regular booklets and 100 of them came with the uh, pop-up style which is super awesome, and definitely, as soon as I saw it, I'm like, that's something Grav Warlock would do! I absolutely love it! Uh, very cool, and like, the rest of the book is, uh, I'm sure you know, uh, Edie does a ton of comics and stuff now, uh, I believe that's primarily what their time is focused on, uh, and they just keep getting better and better, but this is kind of before they were doing that, uh, what's Living Machine? What's the Patreon? I think it's Living Machine. Go check it out. Just check out Edie, Edie Quinn, Como Regalio, Middleman, Macroods, pa Patreon. Um, yeah, just really, really cool stuff. And then you've also got the lyric book like I showed before. So the, the whole package is super nice. Especially when you got the green vinyl on top of it. It matches the art so well. Ooh, starting to get normal here. Can't have that. Uh, okay, so 11 tracks. Very awesome. Those are those. Oh, the labels involved, uh, I don't think they're actually included on the record anywhere, but it was released by Middleman, I Corrupt, Zegma Beach, Pun Donor, Listen to Aelin, Convulse, plus four more. God damn it. Oh, bloody hell, I don't know. Uh, and then uh, Coma also, uh, Edie also did the tapes for, for Middleman, so there was a tape run of that too. I don't think I actually picked up a tape, I just have the, the record, so... Um, yeah, you can still grab some. Uh, the 
uh, the green, I think, is in stock, and the black is definitely in stock. I should do a... I should do a pack of Coma stuff. We've got a fair amount of their LPs, and they're all really sick. So maybe I'll... Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Uh, if you check in the new item special page, there's a, there's a Coma pack. So you can get all of the... Well, there's like a double 7-inch, an 11-inch, and... Two 12 inches, I think, that we've put out. Uh, the 5 inches are all gone. And all the 7 inches that we released, besides the. Uh, I'm just babbling now. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, so the next out past the rings is going to be for Apostles of Eris and Reigning, aka the Miatej switch, where I uh, essentially, Miatej officially ran out of material and ended, and I joined Apostles of Eris, and we did a split with my friend Tom's band um, from New Zealand. So. Uh, I guess, until next time, uh, look at this, huh? Look at this. Little.